hello friends this is Shravan this is my youtube channel silly engineering tutorial by Shravan so in this video I will going to explain you modeling of elevated water tank by using start pro v8 software so this is my model that will be consisting of 15 meter height staging and 3 meter is the conical dome dimensions and 5 meter is the tank dimensions so this tank will be consisting of m40 grade concrete and fe5 415 grade steel okay so beam size is of 0.23 and 0.23 and column size is of 0.4 into 0.23 and slab thickness of 150 mm so let's start with design okay go to start for v8i software okay go to uh, file click on file new model okay uh, okay so select on space okay give the structure name as water tank wt okay let's save the file location so give the units as meter as well as load will be in kilonewton click on next button click on finish button so uh, after this so keep your structure in front view okay so initially we need to add this staging in circular way for that go to your statue software go to geometry run structure wizard okay in that we need to select frame models and reverse cylinder so in this we need to enter the value of staging height as 15 meter and radius as 4 and angle is 360 degrees number of bases along this length direction as 5 and number of periphery as 12 let us apply this okay this is my uh, frames okay so just cancel this button okay after that click on s button just click ok so it will be opened like this okay uh, click on hide snap not link command okay delete all bottom beams click on delete button delete okay after that we need to add this conical portion on this uh, on this staging okay for that go to your geometry run structure wizard so in this we need to enter surface plate give spherical surface okay so enter the diameter of the sphere this diameter of the sphere should be greater than the original diameter okay original base okay so let us uh, take uh, um, base diameter base diameter is 8 meters right so we need to enter this value of uh, diameter of the sphere should be greater than the base diameter okay let us assume as uh, 11 okay give the number of divisions along latitude direction as 12 as well as longitude direction as 12 just click on apply button so this is my conical portion on my tank just cancel this button just click on s okay so just enter this value of y direction distances example as 20 so it will move certain height distance so click on display node to node distance okay just select this node as well as this node so it will be of uh, 8.775 meter height so we need to copy this uh, top elevated uh, portion to this 8.775 meters so for that go to select your plate cursor and select this entire uh, plate okay go to your geometry move plates click on place so we need to move this place as y direction distance as minus okay minus 8.775 okay click on ok button okay click on s button again click on ok button okay yes again click on merge okay delete first note click on delete first note click ok yes again okay so after this we doesn't need this uh, node to node distance for that click on remove all node points after this we need to give this conical portion for that go to your geometry and structure wizard okay so give this uh, select this truss model to surface model select the cylindrical surface give the length as 3 meter as well as starting radius is uh, 4 meter uh, because 8 by 2 as well as ending radius is 12 by 2 6 meters okay number of divisions along uh, length as 12 periphery directions as 12 as well as we need to enter this axis through y direction as well as end is 1 okay instead of z is z 1 we need to give this axis as y as 1 okay apply this so just we need to copy this which is at a distance of y of 15 meter okay okay click on ok button okay after that we need to give this uh, ring beam in this model we need to give this ring beam further that go to your add beam command okay click on this button okay after that to click on this button okay just add a beam between your nodes okay select this beam go to circular repeat okay so we need to give this n number of steps as 12 click on ok after that we need to give again this circular portion so for that go to your uh, geometry run structure wizard okay again go to select the surface plate in that we need to select cylindrical surface in that we need to enter this hmm, length as 5 meter so starting radius is uh, 
6 meter as well as ending radius is 6 meter okay so divisions along length is uh, let us assume 12 verified directions is also 12 as well as this uh, y uh, direction distance is 1 so along z as 0 so give the length along length as let us assume along length as 20 okay just apply this okay this is my portion so when i need to copy this portion to start from okay just uh, merge this again okay which is at a distance of uh, this 15 meter plus 3 meter so 18 meter center this value of 0 as 18 okay click ok again okay just click ok okay so after that we need to copy the uh, whatever the ring beam which is at a distance of 15 plus 3 meter is the same as ring beam at 15 plus 3 plus 5 meter okay so for that we need to keep give the structure in front of you beam cursor back to your structure just go to edit okay copy okay again go to edit paste beams which is at a distance of 5 meter from here okay just enter 5 just click on okay button okay let's see whether the beams are copied or not okay it was copied okay after so after this we need to model the spherical cap on this tank okay for that go to geometry run structure wizard okay we need to change uh, this uh, Trust model to surface plates we need to uh, select spherical surfaces okay in that we need to select uh, give the value of base diameter as 12 okay so we need to enter the diameter of the sphere should be greater than your base diameter let us assume 16 okay so enter the number of divisions uh, along the latitude direction as uh, 12 as well as longitude direction as 12 okay just apply this so this is my spherical cap i need to insert this spherical cap on my top of the tank so for that just cancel this okay just assume the value of y as 25 so it was copied to somewhere to move this top spherical cap by this distance for that go to measure node to node distance select this node node to node distance so it was moved to 7.2 a 9 to distance so for we need to move this uh, spherical cap to downward for that go to select your spherical cap okay okay move so we need to enter this uh, y value as minus 7. Point 292 click on ok button ok after that click on s button merge ok delete first notes click ok yes ok so everything is done so we need to see this model in a 3d rendering view for that you click on 3d rendering view so this is my water tank which, which will be consisting of uh, um, staging which is at a distance of 15 meter as well as 3 meter height conical portion this is a tank portion is 5 meter so again go to modeling after that go to modeling again go to general so we need to give this uh, dimensions of the column slab as well as uh, beam as per problem statement so i was already told you this beam as well as column as slab dimensions okay so go to define okay click on rectangular portion we need to enter this value of id as zd as 0 0.23 0 0.23 add it again go to add yd change the yd value as 0.4 just add it again close it after that go to thickness we need to enter the value of plate thickness as 150 ml so okay 0.15 add it close it okay select this these are nothing but the beams so we need to select the beams only okay okay assign to selected means assign yes after that we need to assign this column as vertical direction for that go to select beams parallel to y direction okay assign to selected beam assign yes select plate thickness assign click on assign to view assign yes after that we need to assign the supports as fixer support for that go to supports create support okay add fixer support select support to as well as drag to your uh, base okay assign to selected support assign yes okay after this everything is done to see the model in 3d rendering view okay so this is the model for elevated water tank by using stat pro vi software thank you for watching so in my upcoming video i will show you different types of load cases to be uh, applied on uh, elevated water tank mainly hydrostatic pressure